So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you run this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates the computer may have. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search and then type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you run this, you want to find the device that you're having a problem with. So let's say I'm having a problem with my printer. I'm going to expand print queues. And then I'm going to find my printer. I'm going to right click on it and I click on update driver. And I click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure you have the best drivers installed for your device. If they're still not working for the third method, you want to right click on your device and then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall. And now you want to click on action and then click on scan for changes. And now it should appear again. See if that fixes your problem. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you run this, you want to type in msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic and click on enter. And now you want to run this. So click on next and then follow the steps. See if it works for you. And now for the last method, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now you want to find your device you're having a problem with. You want to expand it. And now you want to uninstall the device. And instead of doing action scan for hardware changes like we did in the earlier method, you just want to restart your computer and then Windows should automatically update the driver for you and then that should fix the problem.